All right, so today I'm going to talk about how I am going to be coming up with this uh, cover here that I'm going to be creating digitally. And uh, as you can see, I've already drawn it, did it in my sketchbook, uh, pen and ink drawing with some marker. It's going to be the cover for the third issue of The Realm Ethereal. So it's going to be fe uh, face, uh, featuring Cassia Minor and one of the Ethereal guards, Jelena. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first steps to me creating this as a painting. So in my, on my iPad Pro, I'm gonna launch Art Pose Pro. So what I'm doing is I'm creating essentially the models that I'm gonna use to help pose the characters for that cover. So you, know, you can toggle here between male, female, switch that up. Uh, here we go. So there's male, female. So since the character is Cassia, she's going to be female. And I'm going to work to create and pose this character just like you see here or something that is close to it. And then we'll, we'll use that as a starting point. So here we go. Raise her up. And then the model or my sketch, I'll start to pose model. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to change the camera angle slightly to go from above, just like that. And then if I want to tilt the character, I'm going to tap on that section there. And let's see if we can rotate the character ever so slightly. So what I want to do is give her a slight kind of tilt to her left. So let's see if this works. There we go. It's tilted. There we go. And we have our arm posing out. I'm going to start to kind of move the head down. I'm looking over to her right. And we've got this left leg up in the air. Let's kind of cross it over. You know, bend it at the knee. Kind of tuck it back. This leg here really just needs to kind of push the foot down. Maybe what we do is bring this in a little closer. Oops, right here. I'm going to create a slight twist in her upper torso. Just like that. And then we've got her left arm up. So you can see right here. So we're just going to start by playing around with that. So let's go ahead and bend the arm left arm and we'll get this to rotate left arm will rotate up and then we'll create a, uh, an angle change on that left arm go I'm not going to worry about the hand too much right now what I'll end up doing is just kind of take a photo of my hand and get it exactly positioned the way I want it to um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a look to see how her body is actually pitching. So it looks pretty good there. So what I'm going to do is go back to that. Go back to this where I can uh, move and adjust her torso some more. So I'm going to actually kind of give it a little bit more of a bend down. Just kind of bending down and looking to her right. Check and see what that looks like here. That yeah, looks pretty good. You can see the leg here, the between the left thigh and the right thigh, there's a little bit of gap there. Now I can leave that the way it is. I can close it up a little more. Like it is in my drawing, but I think from this angle, this is gonna be up higher up. I think it's gonna create that same, that same look. And I do like the overlapping forms here. This gets it closer to what I'm looking for. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate her body even more. Get more of a pitch. I should say kind of a lean. Kind of lean her. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now her head for me is getting just a little bit obscured. You can't really see the details on her face. So we're going to adjust that. Uh, I'm going to go into... I think it's going to be this. We'll try this one here. Oh, it's the shoulder. So I can undo that. 
is. I think it's gonna be this one here. Oops, this one. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Now she's looking up, which is not what we want. We don't want her looking. It's still the shoulder. I'm trying to get this one little button here. It's kind of tough to get it, but actually I did get it that time. So okay, so I think it's gonna be the neck. Good. So I can take that. So I can kind of work that over here. That's much better, I think. Let's put forward. And that is. I think that's looking okay. I think the head's now kind of pushing a little too forward. I can check to see here. And I can take a look at it and yeah, see the next guy kind of a weird, kind of a weird thing going on there. But that's okay, we're just kind of using this as a setup for, for for setting up the characters for the page. Again, it's just a reference, it's just a starting point. And now that I see this, kind of the angle I want to go with here, how it's kind of matching it, I do now want to get the head tilted down more. That works. So I do want to show her face. So then I'm also going to kind of give it that get more of a tilt. Okay, I think that's going to be good there. I'm going to have to adjust this elbow, this arm. Kind of move it up. All right, and then this arm, I'm going to bring it down. Look, that's the head. Trying to get that shoulder is kind of tricky sometimes. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce a second character. Like that female. Oops, switch that. Sorry, I meant to select this person here. Okay model and change that to female. So now we're going to work on posing this character. As you see here, Jelena, she's going to be in that to the right of, of Cassia. So let's go ahead and see if we can move her about. So take that button. Uh, oops, that is the wrong, wrong character. So put the body. This might be better because then I can at least see the character here. I can reach the points that I need to. So yeah, let's grab this. There we go. I'm gonna pitch her definitely forward. And sometimes what helps is create a little distance. We'll push her away. I can push her back some. There we go. It's the camera. And I'm starting to get some some views here. Better view. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to this character. I'm not sure how to move her. She's okay, I think I need to move her entire body. That lets me push her. There, but I think that's the space we wanted. Let's see what that's looking like. Okay. Bad, bad. Alright, so now that I've got that, I think I'm going to just start working with her, her formation here. So, let's see, we have her... In fact, I'm going to change the camera angle so we can get a better look at what I'm, those buttons here. So we're going to lift this right thigh up. Bend the lower leg, the right lower leg down. I think we're gonna have this foot just kind of like angled. Let's see if my sketch and then rotate this. Actually, let's go back. Let's keep it with that. So I'm gonna work on this the left arm. And bend it forward. So I'm gonna do a slight bend. With the hand, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Put it on my own hands. This I want to try and see if I can adjust. Now it needs to go down lower. Let's see if I can, the actual shoulder, I want to drop it. I don't know if I can do that here in this app. We're going to find out. While I have this before I do that, let's just go ahead and push. Sure, push the left 
foot back. There we go. And I'm going to rotate this. And I need to take a look at this kind of view here. Okay. Alright, so back to so adjust the figure. I think it might be this one here where I can drop it. Yeah, that's kind of helping with, with what I need. It might be sufficient. So let's see what it's like. Okay, not bad. Go ahead and see if I can turn her culture. This is a bit slightly bit. Huh? Like then I'm going to have her arm, her left arm, come down just a bit. And then the hand, I could adjust a hand if I wanted to. Let's see if I can get a fist out of that. And I think that's her fist, is it? Nope. A couple more taps. That's probably the best that we'll go for right now. So let's raise that up just slightly. Our whole left hand. There we go. We're going to try and turn the head. There we go. And I want this right arm to go up just a little more. And I think we've got a pretty decent layout here. You can't just use it as a reference setting up these characters. And in reality I may want to rotate her closer just a bit more as well in space. And so it's kind of good to I wonder if I can get it to actually turn the entire body. There we, there we go. Much better. Although I do like the way the arm right here is creating space because she is holding a sword. So I think what needs to happen is her torso actually does need to rotate. To her right to show that action of her pushing forward. Almost like she took a swipe and missed. Um, we get that kind of a juxtaposition that conquer body. So I will take the lower half and uh so you can do that. The only way I can really do it is to over exaggerate the twist in her upper body and the head of the twist. There we go. That's look a little better. Okay, and let me see this. I actually do want to take Kasia, Cassia and just kind of tilts are just even more so bring her forward to try not to create too many tangents within the characters themselves. So let's go back to Jelena and push her back. Set her back slightly, move her forward, maybe she goes up more. She's gonna have wings that we're gonna wanna wanna highlight. And so I think what I'm noticing here is that with Keja's right arm, and bring that down just a little bit, kind of create this triangular composition. They kind of have a triangular composition. It's kind of like a triangle with a triangle. So if I do raise up this arm a bit more, you can further kind of play on that triangle with a triangle, if it works. And turn it. And we'll turn the view. There we go. And I think that looks pretty good. I like that. Now, Keisha's head can turn a little more toward her damage. I think that uh, I think that's going to look really nice. And the only thing I would probably change at this point is Jelena's. This is going to be kind of hard to see. This angle right here. That for me would be nice. So the only thing I really want to do is just get Jelena overlapping slightly. So I'm going to push. There we go. 
and I think, I think we're there. It's a camera mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot of this picture. One more time. Let's check mark. It takes a picture of that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I think I've got enough to work with. So as I set this up, I will have the basics for setting up the painting for this this, for this cover. Um, from here, I'll obviously I can obviously tweak things as much as I want. And um, like one of the things I hear that's bugging me, maybe I'll try it back on Cassia here. Is maybe I just want to rotate this leg just a bit more. Let's see what that looks like. Camera view. It's a slight tweak. Let's take a picture of that. See, this is, it's kind of squirrely here. I lost a little bit of that overlap. Um, I'm gonna try and get that back to where it was. But sometimes it moves like that just slightly. Let's go back. Yes, I can move it a little bit. There we go. Good enough. And there we go. That's how I am setting up the cover using my digital models here as the reference for what will be the digital painting. The painting I'm going to do probably in Photoshop for the cover for the third issue of the Realm Ethereal.